Hello, my name is Alfredo, and this is Off The Strip, where I introduce you to places just minutes off the Las Vegas Strip, or take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. In this video, we had an early start. Our tour guide picked us up at 2.30 a.m. from the hotel. Um, we were hungry, nothing is open, except for that place which is great because you know in all my videos I like to go to all the different McDonald's in all the different countries to see what's different in this uh, McDonald's there's fried chicken there's um, rice there's a bunch of different things it's kind of neat um, but it's just after 3 a.m. and we've got um, I think another hour and a half of driving to get to the heavenly gates uh, for our tour so stay tuned So after two hours of driving, it's just shortly after 5 a.m. and we are taking these little shuttles right here behind me to the Lempeyang Temple, which is the gates to heaven or heavenly gate. I don't really know what it's called. I forgot what it's called. It's been a long morning already, so okay. Day two. We're getting sarongs. So to enter the temple, you got to get a sarong. So the part of the tourists, they give you sarongs. So because we got here so early, our ticket's number one. This is super. Hi. Our tour guide. We are lucky. <laughs> so what they didn't say is that we have to hike a very steep incline to get to the temple through the jungle and farmlands. Lempiang Temple is one of Bali's oldest and most regarded temples, making it one of the most holiest places to worship in the Hindu culture. In fact, the construction is believed to predate most Hindu temples in Bali. The music you're hearing is just a sign for the, the Balinese people uh, to pray. It's time for prayers. And the thing about the gate to heaven, I've always thought it was in front of water. But as you can see, it's really not in front of water. But, uh, but it is with some magic mirror tricks. So that wraps our little quick stop tour at Heaven's Gate. So this is an active volcano, one of two active volcanoes here in Bali. This last erupted in 2019. So now we're just gonna take some pictures. So one of the benefits of coming really early is that we're beating the crowds. Um, our guide was telling us, usually when people come around this time, it's like a two, three hour wait to get the pictures at the heavenly gates. We're now entering Bali Luwak Coffee Plantation. Coffee, coffee. Cacao tree, this is where chocolate comes from. So these guys, they make coffee from their poop. This is the poop. So after walking around the farm, there's a quick demonstration and a tasting of about a dozen types of flavored coffees, including poop coffee, which I did not try. <laughs> 
So now we're heading to the Water Palace uh, where we're gonna feed um, koi fish. Welcome to Tita Ganga. So this water palace was built in 1946 by the king, and but it was destroyed by the volcano in 1963. So the government rebuilt it. Uh, so it has a lot of uh, Balinese and Chinese influence in the architecture. So we're currently at Aloha Ubud where they do the swings over the jungle floor. So, so secret, all these Instagrammable pictures that everyone's taking, it's all produced in this one park. It's all like, there's a little nest back there. The swings are over here. It's kind of a, a neat thing. Uh, it's, you get all nine swings and all nine places over the rice fields for 29 US dollars or 400,000. Um, Indian rupees. So, see, there she goes in her swing, getting her Instagram moment. We just got caught in hard rain um, in Aloha Ubud. It is raining hard. Take a look. After having an early start and the rain coming down on us, it was time to grab a quick bite and return to our hotel. Thanks to Sukra and Satuma from Discova for showing us around. 